All right, let's draw this serious dog. We're gonna be testing now. Uh, there were a couple little tiny annoying bugs yesterday that have been fixed. So I think we'll be, if this, if this uh, painting goes well, then I think we can put this up version. And um, I'm just continuing the theme of uh, uh, what should we call it? Limited range, I guess. I mean, this this kind of has a full range, but there's not too many crazy values going on. I'm, I'm hoping it'll be kind of simple. And um, if you weren't here yesterday, the there's a lot of new stuff actually, but what we were trying yesterday was this smooth uh, option, which, oh, actually, hmm. hello, Chatomatic. I moved this uh, smooth option to the left side so it just so it lines up with these uh, boxes. I think that looks a little bit nicer. And then the smooth color is on the right side, um, right next to it. But hmm. maybe this smooth color should be over here. Huh. Gotta think about that. It's a little awkward looking. this other strange thing I need to figure out when you switch tools there's like a lag in between for some reason I'm gonna look that up switch tools Um, so I'm trying to put in as big of uh, color shapes as possible, you know, like surrounding the entire eye, including the, these dark areas around the eye. Um, let's see, maybe it's a little bit, is it darker here or lighter here? Maybe lighter here. So it's like a slightly lighter version of this. And it looks more greenish too, I think. Something like that. And it gets darker. So I'm yeah I'm trying to make these big color shapes that can fit smaller shapes inside of them so we don't have to I think it's easier to go from bigger shapes to smaller shapes in this case
Hello, Roombo. Roombo. Boo. Bow. Bow. Boo. Hello, Shafin. Working full time. That's good to hear. Yeah, there's been a lot of new stuff. I'm gonna probably go through it again for anyone who uh, uh, wasn't here yesterday. Uh, I need to learn how to do that, like, just be better at repeating myself a few times because I usually just, like, s show the feature once and never mention it again. <laughs> and, uh,. It's not very realistic to think that people are gonna all like be here at the same time. So, so if you're here today, there's a lot of new stuff. One thing is mirroring. So if we get this, click on this. It's gonna mirror. Um, the transform tool has been moved. And when you close this mirror, it will rebuild the painting like that. Can it turned off. And then the other big thing is um, smoothing. So if I go to like number four on smoothing, it's gonna be it's gonna be like butter. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Texture size. I'll bring this back up. That's stroke smoothing, which um, to give you an idea of how it used to look, it would be something like if you put the smoothing to zero, that's how it was before, which is something like that. Oh, down here we need some color, right? So instead of drawing the mouth, I should first draw this big shadow shape, probably. Do things in order. Probably um, get some more family friendly music. <laughs> Actually, I don't really have any. So, this is also a problem. The, the, uh, Thumbnails are not stretching prop or they're 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 stretched out. Let me I'm gonna fix that. Thumbnails. 
stretched. Okay. We're honing in, honing in on release. We're on the next release. It always takes me at least like a month more than I think it'll take to finish these things. For the eye, I'm not gonna go full white, white, because that might. I think this is more of a gray. Let's copy it so we can do our zooming trick. So this right here, what number do you think this is? Or maybe I'm trying to go for the middle, somewhere here. So this is number five, maybe. No, maybe a little bit more. Maybe it's like six ish, sixty percent. Can cheat and do like this. Check your color right up against the. It's like that ish. And that's for the middle tone of the eye. So I'll just do the whole eye. You know what? Fuck, I'm not gonna make a new layer for this. Of course, I'm the first version I draw is always the best one, and then I'm never gonna be able to get one that I'm happy with again like that. But it's okay. Okay, then there's a lighter version, which should be more like 70%-ish. And then there's also a darker version, so. I'm also over painting a little bit because I feel like um, we could, you know, chop away at it with these other colors to make it smooth again. I also has a little bit of this lighter color in it. Maybe I'll do the whole eye like that, lighter color. And then this inner part goes on top. And I think that's easier than trying to like draw this as a ring. I, maybe that's what I should have done with the white part too, just draw it first and then put the dark parts after. You did say you were gonna promote it more or something so more people would know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to do more, um, I, I guess, reach out to people and stuff at some point. 
I've been waiting because I feel like, you know, it's not ready yet. There's still a lot of stuff I want to do before I start banging my drum, you know. But that time will come eventually, and I'm not looking forward to it because I hate doing that stuff. But it's something that you got to do, I guess. That's like, I mean, nobody likes to do that, right? Nobody likes to go around and, you know, self-promotion always feels kind of gross, but it's part of it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it. Yeah, there's a heavy lag even after eyedropper. Hmm. I'm, I have a feeling that's the same thing that's creating the delay in the switching tools. I wonder what that is. Hey, Cena. Hello, ton of porn. Um, have you thought about creating another anime application related to drawing? Uh, no, I, I think if, I think like that will be combined into this if there was something like that. Do you reckon this is going to go in museums a few hundred years from now as an interesting animal paintings? Exactly. That's, that's definitely going to happen. There'll be people uh, stroking their chins at it. Definitely. It's so difficult to do it without building confidence. Yeah, it is hard. But, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, the confidence thing is something that a lot of artists have trouble with. <laughs> um, even the best ones, actually. I've, I've talked about this before, but my theory is that the best artists, from what I've noticed, they they are extremely hard on their themselves on their work. They like they never like their work. They they actually have some of them have like these almost extreme hatred of their own work. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. Even though everybody else loves their stuff, um, and the, my theory is that 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 extreme um, feature is is what makes them uh, try so hard and like that's what makes their work so good because they're never happy with it um, luckily I don't have that problem I, I'm usually <laughs> I'm usually fine with my stuff I I'm like oh I tried it it came out okay it's cool but um, yeah I, I noticed like a lot of really you know super super high level artists are super critical I mean they take it very very seriously you know even if they don't take themselves that seriously they take the work very seriously um, and uh, I mean, I feel that way with heavy paint. I, I take it seriously and I'm never happy with it. But for the art side, like doing these paintings, I don't care. I'm, I'm just doing the paintings. I'm like, oh yeah, 
I did a, I did a, I did a painting today. That's that makes me happy, and I'm uh, satisfied with that. Um, if it, if I really don't like it, maybe I won't post it. But for the most part, I'll just post it, and like doesn't really matter that much. But it's hard if. It's harder to do that if you're more serious about it, I guess. Um, any news about Android? Yeah, dude, it's up. The um, Android version is up now. In the, it's in the announcements section. Um, actually, this version that I'm using right now, which has got a lot of new stuff, should be on Android too. For the next, uh, whenever this version goes up, it's gonna go up for everybody, like Android, iOS, and uh, and Windows at the same time. Um, wonder where I can find the original chisel radial equivalent. The equivalent is um, line radial. So any any tool with line radial shape is gonna do the same thing. Um, the only difference is that I think with chisel. Uh, let me see. Line radial. The only difference is you you turn on corner if you want the way that the old chisel worked. I think is that how it worked? It's either corner or or um, turn off the follow. Yeah, maybe this is what the old chisel was. But basically, now you can change the shape of any tool to to be a different shape, and the, these are all the possible shapes. So you can make you can make any of the possible tools just using these settings right here. So these on the left are just presets that that you know remix all these um, settings here. Yeah, artists have a lot of inner struggle. When other people like your work, you still know what you wanted to achieve and how you wanted it to turn out, so it's easy to be disappointed in your own work. Others don't know where you were trying to go, they just see the end result. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's good, though, if you have your own internal, I guess your own internal goals, and your own internal rules and everything, that's good because then at least you know where you are you're not like depending on other people to tell you what's good and what's not good I think that's a really a nice um, way to work uh, did you ever show Craig Mullins painting? no I didn't show it, I need to email him I, I need to ask if if he's okay with showing it at some point um I would love to show it though. That would be really cool. I have to bump the values way up. Well, I, I, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> I'm probably going to bring it back down right now. Thanks for telling me. Um, yeah, so. This whole left side. Missing some of that. Uh, 
Like this drawing is pretty janky, but I I have learned to appreciate it, to appreciate jankiness in art. <laughs> I I actually love jankiness. There's so I'm so jealous of people that can like they just naturally have that jankiness that's really cool at the same time and they just it's so hard to do I've said this a million times, but for me, the I think right now, for me, the ultimate art goal is to make it look like you don't care and you're not trying, but it comes out super cool anyway. You know, that's that that to me is the pinnacle of of art. <laughs> what I've been trying to do but it's hard because you if you don't care it, it I mean we do care but it, it's uh, hard to make it look like you don't care I know what I want to try. The uh, I want to try circle, a hard round, because this is something that we never had in heavy paint. Because it would look like that, you know, too chunky, I guess, to use. So I'm gonna try putting the smoothness up to like three. So we get this kind of a hard round.
Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe this is... We're kind of like hunting for triangles. Triangle hunting. Um, looking for these little triangular shapes. Let's see. I mean, there's a lot of triangles in this face, right? There's there's a triangle, there's a triangle, there's a triangle. Maybe we can break it down like that. But much lighter than what I did. Oops. God, it's yeah there's a huge delay for some reason when switching tools and uh, eyedropper I need to track that down I feel like it's rebuilding the entire painting or something It must be rebuilding because on this layer that has a ton of stuff, it's super slow to eye drop. Yeah, okay, that must be it. I'm gonna track that down. But on a new layer, it's it doesn't care. It's fast. So yeah, it's rebuilding. Procreate anytime, and what's your opinion on iPad for art? Yeah, I've used Procreate before. It's pretty awesome, um, and yes, I I think the iPad is great for art. I think it is like voodoo magic. I really wish I had one of these when I was in school because it's so portable and light and. Uh, and it feels so good, the, the uh, pen. But if um, even more than the iPad, I think the, uh, the Samsung Note phones are like genius the way they work it's it's awesome and just the fact that it's 
always in your pocket. Um, it, I think the Samsung Note is like is the most underrated art gear or art tool for digital art. I don't know why it never caught on for digital artists. I'm noticing that with this picture, because there's not that much um, stuff going on, I feel like I'm able to concentrate more on these more simple shapes and uh, give it more detail, more more love, I guess. It's pretty fun. I always like painting with this um, triangle triangle style. It's a lot of fun because it, it makes it feel like a puzzle and everything just fitting together eventually. Another thing I'm trying to do is, well, now that we have everything blocked in, is trying to make like little tiny sections and changing the color only very slightly on each section. So even, you know, just like something like this, maybe it's too much, too much of a jump there. Or, I don't know, maybe between these two is too, too jumpy. So we can try to find something in between.
And uh, since the eyedropper is kind of broken or laggy a little bit in this, I'm avoiding it <laughs> and enjoying the uh, freedom to not eyedrop. Slacker says I'm trying to get into 3D. Yeah, Blender, definitely. I would say yes, go for it. Do Blender. Because basically the whole industry is switching to Blender now. Blender is going to be industry standard <laughs> after so many years of people being like oh my god industry standard it's like i think i want to barf every time i hear the word industry standard <laughs> but uh yeah blender is having having its uh having its day finally smudge
This is uh, this is a uh, awkward <laughs> painting. Oh man, this delay is bothering me so much. I need to go fix it right after this. Yeah, this is getting impossible now with the delay. Okay, I'm gonna go fix it. Let me see what you guys are up to in here. I live one minute distance from Blender Foundation. Oh, that's cool. Did you ever go visit? proud of the progress they've made yeah those blender guys are pretty awesome I got to work with um, Pablo Tabarro oh uh, not Tabarro Pablo Vasquez um, last year which was really random because I was definitely not expecting that but yeah he was really a uh, good guy hey Julian How's it going? Oh yeah, the this UI thing. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious. Should have had it. But glad you're glad you're liking it. I think I screwed up this uh, drawing. It looks very odd. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh no. Did it save? I hope you saved. Okay, it's saved. Hmm. Oh, okay. Weird. Um, I'm going to make a mask with this one for just the, just the eye and clip this one down to it. I'm still I'm still aiming for the like uh, don't care aesthetic so to me that that's means like doing some of these scribbles here and there you know just 
trying to bring some, uh, you know, Crayola action is what, is what I like to call it. forgot about some of this. Egon, yeah, definitely. I'm big, big fan of that stuff. Some people just have the natural, the gift of jankiness, you know. This is looking really like choppy over here. I'm trying to blur just to like soften some of it.
Okay, it's still pretty raw looking, and maybe maybe this area down here is too. It's blue. I don't know. <laughs> I love how serious he is. Okay, I think I think I've uh, I've done enough <laughs> here. I think I've um, I think I've done enough painting for for today. fixing stuff. There's a lot of stuff we caught today. Or maybe I'll do another one later on. We'll see. Okay guys, have a good day. Thanks for joining in. See you next time. Oh, Danny's got a question. Design book? Uh, hmm. There's not that many design books. There's books on drawing, but...
I don't really... I don't actually have any books on design. I have... I mean, I have books from designers that I like. I, I really think one book that really had a big influence was Cosmic Motors by Daniel Simon. Um, but I don't have any, like, di books that teach you how to design. I, I think that's pretty tough. There's also, what, Viscom? But that's more just a technique, drawing technique, visual communication type of book. Um, okay, I'll see you.